You feel tired all the time, but don't know why? Does doing even the simplest and quickest of tasks make you feel exhausted and weary? We've made a video on seven signs of emotional burnout to find out more. Chronic fatigue can be caused by a number of different factors, usually things like a poor diet, dehydration, lack of exercise, and a bad sleeping habit are to blame. But what if it isn't your physical health, but rather your mental health that's the problem? If you're eating healthy, getting lots of sleep, and exercising regularly, but still struggle to make it through most days, then the tiredness you feel is most likely due to emotional and mental distress. With that said, here are six possible psychological reasons why you feel tired all the time. One, you're overwhelmed with life. Are you going through a particularly difficult time in your life right now, like dealing with the death of a loved one, the end of an important relationship, or adjusting to an unfamiliar environment? It can be overwhelming enough that you start to feel exhausted all the time trying to deal with it. There's too much pressure weighing you down, too many decisions to make, too many duties and responsibilities you need to attend to. You feel like you don't have room to breathe anymore, and you're seriously starting to think that you're only inches away from a complete mental breakdown. Two, you're in a toxic environment. Does your family barely ever get along with each other? Are your parents always screaming at one another? Or perhaps you feel like they're all just taking advantage of you without any care for your personal well-being at all. Maybe it's your work life that's got you feeling so burnt out all the time. Is your boss overworking you to the point where you have no work-life balance anymore? Or maybe all your workmates are trying to sabotage one another. Either way, being in a toxic environment constantly puts your mental health at risk and drains a lot of your energy. Three, you've neglected your self-care. Have you been neglecting to take care of yourself you stop eating right, you barely get any sleep, and you don't keep yourself hydrated or physically fit. Not only that, but you don't make time for yourself to do the things you love and enjoy. You don't have a social life anymore. You don't spend time with your friends and family. And worst of all, you've lost touch with yourself. Or, you feel anxious all the time. It's not uncommon for people who suffer from anxiety disorders to feel exhausted all the time because your brain is always on high alert, fight or flight mode. You often experience sudden spikes in energy levels, which leads you to feeling mentally and emotionally drained. You feel tired a lot because your mind is usually running 100 miles a minute, overthinking and fixating on all the ways something could go horribly wrong. Five, you're suffering from depression. Chronic fatigue is one of the core criteria for a person to be diagnosed with depression, along with feelings of sadness, emptiness, loneliness, and hopelessness. When you're depressed, you don't have the energy or motivation to do anything, not even the things you used to love and enjoy so much. You feel exhausted even when you're just lying in bed all day. You wonder what the point is in doing anything at all anymore. You become emotionally numb, shallow, and apathetic. It's a kind of tiredness that doesn't go away, no matter how much rest, eat, or sleep you get. And six, you're always stressed out. Are you stressing about studying for a good grade, meeting an important deadline, or finishing a project perfectly? Constant long-term exposure to high levels of stress is one of the leading causes behind emotional and mental exhaustion. When you're stressed out, your body kicks into high gear and expends all of its energy on dealing with whatever it is you're so stressed out about. Researchers have found that an oversupply of cortisol and adrenaline can wear you out over time and even cause you to suffer a mental or emotional crash. Sometimes, Treating exhaustion with some rest and relaxation, eating healthy, getting lots of sleep, and exercising regularly isn't going to be enough. It's important that you get to the root of the problem so you know the best way to treat it. Do you relate to any of these reasons mentioned here? What do you plan to do next? If you're worried about your mental health, reach out to a therapist or a counselor today and get the help you need to deal with your problems in a positive way. And who knows? It might just bring back the skip in your step again.